Hey guys, so today I have yet another empties for you. Um, I feel like I go through a lot of stuff, but that's a good thing because it means I'm actually using up what I buy. Um, sometimes I don't use something up, like if I absolutely hate it, but for the most part, I mean, you know, I like them decently. Um, if you're not familiar with empties videos, I'm just kind of going through my trash and telling you what I thought of the products so that you know if it's good or bad because I know there's so many things to choose from at the stores and you know we all need all the help we can get. So the first thing I used up is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Cat's Isle Soap in Hemp Rose. Um, I love this stuff. I use it to wash my brushes in my beauty blender especially fantastic for the beauty blend. Beauty. <laughs> Especially great for the beauty blender, it just gets everything out of it. And I wash that, of course, every single day before I use it. If I use it, well, every day that I use my beauty blender, I wash it first. So this is great to have on hand and I really need to get some more. All right, then the Olay Silk Whimsy Cleansing Body Wash. Um, honestly, I wouldn't repurchase this. I was kind of tired of the scent by the time I finished it and I was really just trying to use it up. Um, I purchased this because I heard somebody talk about it, but I don't know. I just didn't really love it. Then Equate Multi Action Whitening Rinse, of course com comparable to the Crest version. Um, I always have whitening mouthwash, so I think this time I have the Target brand. Next the Yardley London. Um, Bath and Shower Gel in Lavender and Rosemary. I got this because it was in the more natural section a while back um, at Rite Aid, I believe. But it was just okay. I didn't really love the lavender scent of this. Some lavender I like and then others are just like, meh. So I wouldn't repurchase really that. Again, I was just trying to use it up. Then the Red Kin, if you can even see this, it's all squished. I was trying to get it out. The Redken Blonde Glam Shampoo. Um, obviously, I'm not blonde anymore, so I was just trying to use it up. I was saving this for when I went back to blonde, but now I'm not sure if I will. So I just use it up because this doesn't, doesn't this doesn't lighten your hair at all. It just kind of helps prevent brassiness. So um, yeah, so it's a good shampoo, but I don't really need it anymore. Then um, we have some more stuff right here. I used up the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I loved this and I do want to repurchase again. I went through a few of these last year too. Um, yeah, love this and do want to get more. Then um, the Rite Aid Renewal Oil Free Makeup Remover. Um, this is the Rite Aid version of the Neutrogena Oil Free Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. Um, I just keep rebuying the Rite Aid brand because it works really well and it's cheaper than Neutrogena and usually they have some kind of deal going on where you can basically get one free. Um, like one time I bought it was like buy one get one free and another time it was like buy two and get five dollars back in up rewards. So yeah, love that stuff. Um, then the Mario Badescu Special Cleansing Lotion C. I just used the very last bit of this and actually I might be able to get out a tiny bit more. Um, I do need to get more Mario Badescu toner but I wanted to wait until I redeem my Ulta points while I have my 20% off coupon. So anyway, I love Mario Badescu. Um, I might get the regular cucumber lotion next time because I think that one doesn't have alcohol in it, which this one does. So. Um, yeah, but I do love Mario Badescu and will repurchase. Um, then the Not Your Mother, She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. If you've seen any of my other empties, then you know I love this and I don't need to go on about it. Then the um, Ion Sensitive Scalp 3% Developer in Volume 10. I use this obviously to dye my hair. Works great, I think. So it's only a couple dollars at Sally's. Then um, also before I dyed my hair, like one or two days before, I used the um, crystal clarifying treatment, which gets rid of mineral styling buildup 
and we have really hard water so um, I wanted to use this before I dyed my hair again just to help it last better so yeah that works pretty good um, then I used up these sample actually I still have some in a little container here that I put into uh, I have a sample of the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream um, I did like this but I don't think it's mattifying enough for me for summer um, then I used up a sample of the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation in Nude, I think it was. The top is torn off, but um, I think this was in the shade Nude, which was a better match for me, so I wish I had gotten this shade instead of the one I have, but what can you do? Um, I don't have a store that sells that, so if I had returned it and then reordered, I would have lost my discount that I had at the time so I just kept it. It works after I have all my makeup done but obviously you've seen my foundation routine with that probably and yeah I do love it but I kind of wish I had gotten this shade instead. Um, then I used up a packet of the Repairing Macadamia Oil uh, by Marc Anthony the Peeling Conditioning Treatment. Um, I did really like this. I got a couple of uses out of it. These are packets are $2.99 at Ulta and I got them when they were buy one get one free. Um, then the Nourish Organics Hydrating and Smoothing Body Lotion in Lavender and Mint. Um, this was really nice to use at night, especially in the summer because the mint makes it have kind of a cooling effect. Um, but I don't think I would repurchase because like the second ingredient is alcohol which isn't good to use when you're self tanning because I mean it's going to dry up not be super moisturizing which is what I really need right now because my skin gets flaky really easily um so yeah I did like it but probably wouldn't repurchase um then the color brilliance intensive shine demi permanent hair color in medium ash blonde um that is what I use to dye my hair so yeah and always go lighter than you want when picking a color with these colors at Sally's um yeah this has the same color name as the one it has a hair color I used from Avon when I was blonde but obviously it's a lot darker so yeah um, then the um, Up and Up Target brand of baby wipes. I got this packet for travel and then I just like used up the rest at home. But I always like to just keep baby wipes by my desk to clean things up with my fingers. And then we have a couple more makeup related things. I used up a travel size, well the mini size of the MAC oil control lotion. Did I repurchase that? Um, I always buy the mini size because it's a better deal, like I've said before, than the full size. So this is $10 and I love it. Then um, I used up two powders for a while. These were just like scraping bottom and only had a tiny bit left. This one, the Urban Decay um, The Slick powder I've had for a while. Um, this was like the one I kept in my purse for a while for touch-ups at work and stuff. But I would not repurchase this one because, well, first of all, the MAC Peppermint Prime is cheaper, but it like fell apart. <laughs> I literally taped it together. So yeah, I would definitely not repurchase that one. Um, I love my MAC Peppermint Prime, which I also used up. Um, yeah. I love that one and didn't fall apart. So yeah. And then we have a couple of eye products. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I love that. Use it almost every day under my eyeshadow to brighten like the inner corners and everything and help shadows stand out more. So yeah. It was like down to the last little bit, so I finally got a new one. Um, and then the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Lash Boosting Serum Eyeliner in Deep Browns. My holy grail eyeliner. 
Um, love it. Will continue to repurchase. It's the only thing I've ever tried that doesn't get into my crease at all by the end of the day. It lasts all day. I just absolutely love it and it's easy to use. Um, and it's not a felt tip like the Stila Stay All Day or anything. It's like a small brush tip that's shaped like a felt tip, if that makes sense. Um, so it's easy to use and it doesn't dry out nearly as fast as a felt tip. So yeah, I love that. And then um, Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Brown. I did repurchase this when I had it 40% off coupon for Jane. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to use in the lower lash line. Um, but today I'm actually wearing the Jane liner in purple on the lower lash line. But I do love this and I use it almost every day. So, yeah. That's it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>